Ukraine Ottomans went into this victory of the Sports Palace in Kiev against the Algeria Desert Hawks in Group A, needing and expecting a win. The Desert Hawks stranded bottom of the group with just the one win previously. The Ottomans in fourth place needed to mount that final surge to try and make it into the top three and with it into the post-season playoffs. An expectant crowd had gathered. The opening bout of the night at flyweight saw Abdul Hakim El Barka up against Azat Usanaliev. And it was Usanaliev who controlled proceedings pretty much from the off against a nervous at times looking El Barka. Usanaliev landing the cleaner punches, none of them particularly heavy, but catching the eyes of the judges in every round. Albarka with a habit of throwing a lazy jab and then being countered by the right hand. And at the end of the contest, it was Usan Aliyev who took it wide on the cards by unanimous decision. The contest at lightweight between Raider Ben Baziz, who was 4 and 1 going into the bout, and Viktor Slavinsky, who was making a season debut, was very, very hard fought. It was Slavinsky who started the brighter Ben Baziz, just looking too much for single shots, looking for that big left hand, which never really landed, which allows Slavinsky to pick up the first couple of rounds in fairly comfortable fashion. Rounds three and four, though Ben Baziz came back into the fight, started to pick his shots a little bit more carefully. Painful viewing for some. He set up a fifth round decider, and it was Slavinsky who got the nod, 48 to 47. On all three judges' scorecards. So going into the welterweight clash between Zohir Kadash and Oleg Zhubenko. Zhubenko knew that were he to win, then it would give the Ottomans the win in the match overall. Kadash showed some flashy skills in the opening exchanges, particularly looking for that right uppercut, which found the target on a number of occasions. Jabenko, though, had a good methodical style, kept those gloves up, was very, very strong, and rocked Kadash with a punch before that slip, causing the referee not to call the knockdown. And as the fight wore on, Jovenko really got stronger. Kadash's conditioning started to be a potential issue, and it was Jovenko who got the decision, and with it, the match going to the Ukraine Ottomans. Light heavyweight saw Nabil Kassel, one and three for the season previously, up against Alexander Kizhniak, who had the reverse record of three wins and one defeat, fifth in the World Series of Boxing rankings in the 81 kilogram division. And it was Kizhniak who came up very strongly in the first round, trapping his man back on the ropes, some damage to that left eye. And in the second round, right at the very start, the heads came together and a bad cut was opened up just underneath the eyebrow of the right eye of Cassell. And with Kizhniak ahead on the cards, it was the Ukraine Ottoman again who got the decision on all three judges' scorecards to give the Ottomans a 4 0 lead. So into the super heavyweights, Hamza Bagurni. Still looking for his first win in the season, found himself in with the much bigger man in Igor Shevardzutsky. Shevardzutsky, one and one in the season to that point. Looked extremely strong right from the off. The physical difference between the two was there for all to see. As the Ottoman just barreled forward, happy to take punches to land his own. And he landed some damaging ones as well, stopping Bagurni in the fourth round to make it a clean sweep for the Ukraine Ottomans. So they maintain their assault to make it through to the postseason playoffs.